Welcome back. Well, Australians travel more than 600 million kilometres in their caravans every year. That's equivalent to travelling to the moon and back 800 times. And that figure is expected to rise as more people spend more money and time on the open road. And as Adam Marshall reports, some are taking the grey nomad experience to the extreme. When Hollywood meets the outback. It's like a scene from a James Bond classic. Patrick Murphy is a grey nomad, but he's living every man's dream in the ultimate motorhome. He's dubbed Ultimus Prime. I should have named the bus Holy Moly, because that's the first thing everybody sees. They go, Holy Moly. <laughs> it's purpose built to house the American expat's big toys as he embarks on a journey around Australia. His trailer morphs into a launching pad for his helicopter. This is my, my version of a boat, you know, and I kind of go where the caravanners can't go, and I just kind of go, and I got my fishing pole, and I go fishing. Or he can take his four-wheel drive. Yeah, it just winches in, winches out. Inside is like a two-story apartment. I got a, uh, uh, a full bedroom in the front. From the kitchen, it goes outside. We've got an upstairs balcony. This is my idea of roughing it in Australia. It's nothing like the almost 500,000 caravans or camper vans on Australian roads. Grey nomads are only part of the mix now. Bob Carroll is behind some of the big caravan expos we see right throughout Australia. He says the industry is experiencing a renaissance. They've got their plasmas in there, uh, they've got their stereos, they've got the coolie bins and they've got the generators and the solar panels. It's all there, it's all happening. It's a worldwide trend to hit the road in greater style. Futuria Sport and Spa. Take this motorhome just released in Germany. It accommodates up to 10 people in absolute luxury. It has its own garage and sun deck. The crowning jewel, a whirlpool. Prices start at just over $750,000, but it's nothing compared to this, the most expensive motorhome ever built, the Marching Mobile Element. It looks like something from another planet and will set you back $2.6 million. Patrick paid just over $800,000 to transform his bus. It costs $5,000 a year to keep on the road which is easier said than done. The Grey Nomads, they're doing it in style. And as we go to the break, a look ahead to Sunday night and Molly Meldrum talks to his old mate, the Rocket Man, who takes aim at one of the world's biggest stars. You look great. Oh, thanks, silly.